Hi! Now you will find out which of all windows give the highest performance in work and what is important for many in games. And no, it won't be just my opinion. In tests and experiments, this system will prove that it is the fastest for old and weak PCs. What system do you think we are talking about? Windows 7, 8, LTC, but definitely not the 11th, because it is not ready yet and at least not fast yet. We have already similar experiments, but the best of the best will compete in this. Write in the comments what you think is the fastest Windows at the moment. And at the end of the video you will find out the result and it will be interesting whether you were right or not. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already and like this important and time-consuming video. The first step was to decide which versions of Windows to include in this comparison. We need Windows which can be installed on an ordinary weak computer and at the same time work with modern programs and play the games with maximum FPS. About a year ago the first comparison came out, which has become quite popular. But this was the first experience and a lot was not taken into account. For example, the Ultimate version of Windows 7 participated there, but it is not the most productive. The Enterprise version is faster. We find this out in a recent test of 6 editions of Windows 7. By the way, in the description you will find links to all the previous tests. Therefore, here is the first candidate for the final tournament – Windows 7 Enterprise. And since we are looking for the most productive system for the weakest PCs, we take the 32-bit version. Further, Windows 8.1 in that first experiment also showed itself very well. It is a fairly fast system. And as we determined, a special lightweight version of it, Embedded Industry, is fastest. This is an 8 edition for terminals and various industrial devices. You will see soon how fast it is. It is the second contender for the fastest operating system in the world. To determine the third finalist, it was necessary to decide which version of Windows 10 to take for testing. In our first experiment, Windows 10 LTC showed itself very well, but we did another experiment in which we compared it with the LTSB edition and it showed the same performance, but it took less resources and it is smaller in volume on the disk. This means that if the computer is weak and old, this is a more suitable candidate. We take it. And finally, the fourth participant of the finals, Windows 10 Home 21 H1. The most fresh at the moment 10. Maybe it is the fastest? It's unlikely, although it is faster than Home 2019, for example. But in this experiment it will be as a reference. We will compare how much other systems are faster or can be slower. Here are four participants, all 32-bit. And here is the laptop on which these tests will be carried out. Its parameters are average. If your computer is more powerful, then you are unlikely to feel the difference between different versions of Windows. But if it is weaker, then this information will definitely come in handy. Now let's install each of the four systems on this laptop, install the necessary drivers, software and updates. And then we will run six tests each several times to increase the reliability of the experiment. And first of them, Task Manager. After starting the PC, we wait a few minutes for the system to come to a stable state, while nothing third-party is running, only the program for photographing the screen. And we can see how much RAM the OS consumes at idle. The usual Home 10 took 1.1 GB, Windows 7 – 716 MB, 8 embedded – only 507, this is a record, and LTSB after updates takes exactly 1 GB. By the way, these numbers are directly proportional to the number of running processes. Look, the 8 also has the smaller number of processes. Interestingly, during the tests of the LTSB, such a moment was found. Earlier it took less memory and there were fewer processes. And after the update, the processes were added, so that it became a little heavier. The first experiment is finished. There is a clear winner here. Windows 8.1 Embedded. 
Second test will show the system performance in converting video. This is done by the processor. This means that we will see how the system allows you to squeeze the maximum efficiency out of it. If there is high performance in this task, then it will be faster in the work of other programs and games. Let's take the same video, converter and its settings. Let's run the conversion several times and time it. And here are the results. The Home 10 beat the problem in 4 minutes 22 seconds. The 7 in 4 minutes 7 seconds. The 8 had the best result in 3 minutes 47 seconds. And the LTSB exactly 4 minutes. As you can see, for the second time 8 embedded wins, and the second place is taken by 10 LTSB. And note how much faster they are than the usual 10. The performance of the 8 is already 13% higher. The third benchmark experiment. It will show numbers from various benchmarks, performance tests. By comparing them we can see the difference between the systems. We do several tests and take a large figure. The first benchmark is Prime95. It loads our processor with calculations and shows how fast it was possible to execute them. Compare the numbers in each of the lines. Each line is a test. Where they are higher, there is faster. We see that the usual 10 is clearly lagging behind the others. The main competitors are 7 and 8. In the first pass the 8 is faster and in the rest it lags behind. LTSB is slightly behind them, in third place. But let's try another benchmark built into AIDA64. Unfortunately, there is a big error here, and we will not see an objective difference. Therefore, we proceed to the next experiment, which is more real. The force test launched the application. You have already seen it in previous videos and I really like it for its objectivity. Because the way the application is loaded is what shows the real picture and what we face when working with different programs. Photo editor, the GIMP, is what I use regularly and it takes a long time to load, which is what we need. Comparing the download speed in different windows, we can estimate how fast the system works with applications, RAM and processor. Let's make a visual and see how the program will load on different operating systems. Keep in mind that there were several launches and now we have the fastest of them. Go! Surprisingly, Windows 8 copes in 11 seconds, followed by 7 in 14 seconds. In a top 10, it is more difficult to launch programs. For sure, there are sophisticated memory allocation algorithms and LTSB finishes in 28 seconds and home in 34 seconds. A long time. And here the 8 one again. The fifth test is starting Windows. Although this doesn't particularly affect the performance, but I can skip this test, it's very interesting. Moreover, in that first experiment a year ago, a mistake was made. In Windows 8 and Windows Home, I didn't take into account the fast reboot, so they turned on too quickly. In fact, they didn't turn on from scratch, but came out of hibernation. For a complete reboot, you need to press the shutdown button while holding the Shift key. We will do this now and calculate the time from the appearance of the logo to the full launch of the Google Chrome browser. Well, do you think the 8 will be ahead again or not? Go! So, Windows 8.1 Embedded is still the first, but 7th is in the second place, which is logical. Then Windows 10 Home and the Enterprise the last. Similar results to our first experiment, but the 7 came in second here. 
The 6 tests the volume of the system on the disk. It is unlikely that this is a problem today, but still, if every gigabyte counts in your computer, it will come in handy. The smallest are 7th and 8th versions, in a light weight. This is logical, because they have a minimal set of components and services to work with. LTSB also initially takes a little 8.5 GB, but after the update it is already 10.5 or more. Home 10 takes 12.5 GB, at least with regular deletion of the update catch. In this competition I decided to add one more round. The seventh, support and security. It is about what our systems support from modern software and technologies as well as whether they provide security. That is why in this video there is no Windows XP. It is completely outdated because it doesn't support either today's hardware or programs. And what about other systems? With the tens everything is clear. It is updated and various security holes are closed. The built-in antivirus is also updated and works. Support for new technologies is being added, including DirectX 11 or 12 for games. This also applies to the LTSB version. It has full Microsoft support until 2026. There is no need to worry about anything. Everything will go on it, except for the programs from the Microsoft Store. It needs to be added separately. And what about Windows 8.1 Embedded? It was released in 2013, not so long ago. The end of support will be at the 7th of November 2023. But those technologies that were released after 2016, for example DirectX 12, are not available in it. That is why, according to Microsoft, they give free upgrades to tens and enjoy new features. The antivirus defender is in it and is updated, so everything is ok with security. And the 7th, it is no longer supported, which means it is not being updated, therefore it doesn't support new technologies, and you need to carefully monitor security yourself. It is advisable to install a third-party antivirus. According to this indicator, it is in last place. But on the other hand, we are not looking for the fastest windows to play games that require only DirectX 12 only. On a PC with 2 or 4 GB of RAM, this is a dream. If games with DirectX 9 or 10 is enough for you, please like this video. So this support question is just for information, but I recommend keeping an eye on security, including not using hacked windows and activators. And now the results. In fourth place, as we initially assumed the usual Windows 10 home version, the professional version will be almost the same. This is Windows for modern computers with at least 4 GB of RAM, taking into account that this is at least DDR3 and better 4. The third place was taken by Windows 10 LTSB. It is lighter than the home version, more productive and the functions are almost the same. So if you only want the top 10 LTSB, a great option for weak PCs, the newer LTSC would be a good option too. On the second place is Windows 7 Enterprise. It showed good speed when launching programs, as well as when performing calculations. This is a great system for working with some special programs and it can be installed specifically for playing games on a weak PC. But be aware of your security concerns. And in first place is Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry. A very stripped down but fully working system, the fastest option for weak PCs. There are many drivers on Windows 8 and everything is fine with security. This system showed the best results in almost all tests and confidently became the fastest Windows in the world according to the PC and P channel. You can rejoice at its victory in the comments and do not forget to reward it with like. In the end, I want to thank you for your attention to this issue and the PC No Problem channel. Stay with us and see you in the comments as well as in other videos. See you in the air!